Hey guys, hands up if you've ever had a client or even yourself, you've looked at your P&L and gone, wow, there's all this profit there, but you have no money in the bank. So we're gonna be looking at what causes all this confusion with profit and loss statements and where the money is and what's going on. Because it can really do your head in, you know, sometimes the accountant says, hey, you're doing really well in your business, your profits are great and all the rest of it, but you got no cash and you feel like you're going broke sometimes. So let's have a look at what's going on so that we can sort that out. First thing we need to be clear on is that profit's not really real. It's not cash. Promises, promises is what I've written up here. Profit is, and the accountants have a funky definition of it called future financial benefit. So this is the first thing that causes confusion. It's not actually money, it's theory, okay? So when you're looking at your profit, it's a measure of how well you've run your business, okay? It's not actually cash. So that's our first thing. So let's have a look at how it's constructed then. Go back to a basic example here. We've got a business with sales of 50 grand. Let's say this is one month. Cost of sales was 25 grand, so their GP is 25 grand or 50%. It's cost them $20,000 to run their business and the profit they made then thus is 25 minus 20 equals $5,000. Now, when you do an invoice and look at the wording invoice, it's actually a request for someone to pay you money but it gets logged here at that particular time, okay? So I've got over here a window. So when we're looking at a profit and loss, it's like a scoreboard for a window of time, but it's based on paper shuffled assets, not actually transfer of money. So we do an invoice and we date it for a particular month and we run a report for a window and it logs it, but there's probably been no cash changed hands. And this comes down to over on the side here, I've got a versus C. Now the A is for accrual accounting. And the way to remember the difference, accrual accounting takes into account time. When you've got credit to people, you give them goods or services before they actually pay you. And it can be quite cruel sometimes as you're waiting for them to pay you back. And then we've got the second type of accounting which is called cash, which is not very common. When you have cash accounting, your profit and loss would probably be accurate because it's the movement of cash in time. Profit is, in theory, the amount of financial benefit that I've mentioned before. So, what we're seeing is someone is logging these events, but the cash hasn't turned up yet because it's only theory. If you want to find your cash, it will be seen on your balance sheet, probably in accounts receivable. Where it is, and depending on if your client has paid you or not, it's probably sitting still in their bank account. So this tells you how well you've run your business, how well you've played the game. It's like a bit of a statistic uh, sheet for a game of sport. Down the bottom, if it's a plus and it's on track with the target you set, then that's great. If it's a negative, then you haven't played a really good game, but you need to capture in this time frame to see how well you've managed your assets and your resources to develop the profit in theory. So that's where the big confusion comes. Profit is just theory. It's promises, promises. Someone has promised you that you're gonna pay you. Similarly for our fixed expenses down here, we get an invoice from someone who we've got products or services for. We log it, but the cash hasn't moved yet. So hopefully that helps you understand a bit more about what's going on with profit and loss and cash. So as you, as you start to teach people and work with people on this and in your own business, it starts to make some sense.